you are watching 724 News on Report TV. I am Aziz Kudradov. Get the winner is the main events of the day during our program. Today the country is carrying out large-scale reforms to develop and liberalize the economy. Commercial banks are driver of the ongoing transformations, which contribute to the structural reorganization of the economy. Asia Alliance Bank is active participant of this process, one of the tasks of which is to create favorable investment climate and business environment in the country. As part of the implementation of the Presidential Decree on Priority Measures to Liberalize Foreign Exchange Policy, foreign exchange offices have started their operations in each branch, as well as in mini banks where foreign currency is purchased, in order to increase customer loyalty to the bank's retail services, to increase competitive advantages and to maintain interest from customers. Since September 28, the most attractive rates of foreign currencies to the national currency have been installed in the exchange offices of Asia Alliance Bank. In addition to the established list of currencies, it is now possible to buy Russian ruble at the bank's currency exchange offices. It should be noted that individual entrepreneurs without the formation of legal entity engaged in the import of consumer goods are allowed to purchase foreign currency on a conversion card, both for cash in national currency and for plastic cards for transferring funds from conversion card for imported goods or for payment conversion card for goods abroad. Restrictions on the amount of purchase of foreign currency the place of its use and the number of withdrawals of currency in ATMs are absent. Uzbekistan is a country with very rich history, diverse cultural heritage. Currently, there are over 350 museums in the country, where about 2.5 million exhibits are presented. Representatives of the Ministry of Culture told about further plans for development and maintenance of historical museums in near future. One of the goals of this event is to talk about a program developed by the Ministry of Culture aimed at preserving and developing the museum activity. It includes reconstruction, modernization, as well as increase in the number of museums in the country. So about 550 million sums have already been allocated for repair of cultural objects. The program is designed for the next 10 years. There are many tasks which we face today, for example, the formation of Unified Catalogue of Museum Fund of Uzbekistan. We should also think on the improvement of HR system in museums. We should train our museum workers, issue more books and albums. Representatives of the museums from all over the Republic also attended the press conference. In Uzbekistan, there are more than 350 museums, 19 of which are state-owned and the rest are private and public. The human factor and his interests in Uzbekistan are the highest value. The presentation of the book under this name took place in Tashkent. In the work of Doctor of Economic Sciences, Professor Kalandar Abdurrahmanov, it is said about the essence of ongoing work on the construction of the country's economy, the improvement of Tashkent and the regional centers of the Republic. In the book, the author gives Duff's analysis of the actual tasks arising from the announcement of 2017 by President Merziyev, the year of dialogue with the people and human interests, as well as the importance of the strategy of actions for the five priority areas of development of Uzbekistan, in particular in the chapter entitled Kim Edik, Kim Boldik, Who Were We, Who Are We, tells how our country, for the years of independence, has been able to diversify the economy, actively attracting foreign investments, ensuring a stable growth of GDP. The main thesis of other chapters of the book is the principle the richer the people, the richer and stronger the state. The premiere of the artistic and documentary film Sharktan Taralyan Nur was held in Alisher Novoi Cinema Palace in the capital. The film was shot by director Shukrat Mahmudov, commissioned by the National Agency Uzbek Kino. 52-minute tape tells about the life and activities of the great scientist of medicine, Abu Ali ibn Sino. Famous critics, actors, representatives of partner organizations and journalists were invited to the premiere of the film. Before the film was shown, the leadership of the National Agency Uzbek Kino and the creators of the film told about the movie. According to the film's director, Shukrat Mahmudov, the film is based on facts and reliable sources about the greatest scientists. Famous foreign professors, doctors gave interviews before shooting the film. It is said about different periods of Evitsena's life. The film also shows acquaintance of Ibn Sino with the great Abu Rehon Biruni. This was all news for today. Watch the latest news on Zreport TV. Thank you for your attention.